Hello everyone. In the present video, I will discuss about the G.H. Mead's concept of self, I and me. This is the continuation of previous video on his concept of self. In this video, I will briefly discuss about his idea of I and me. So, let's begin. G. H. Mead mentioned about two kinds of self, I and me. As I have already discussed, self is an identity, self expresses the reactions, self connects with the mental processes and makes an individual a social animal, a social being. So now question comes. What is I and what is me? Me is basically socially, ethically, morally regulated self. I is the reaction or actual expression, actual expression or actual reaction of the individual or the self individual expresses is I and me is socially, uh, ethically, morally regulated self. That means an individual has both I and me. Me is basically structured or organized self. Individual lives in the society. So what would we his or her expression, what would be his or her behavior, act, activities, reactions that are all regulated by social norms, values, cultures, ethics, morality, religious uh, instructions, spirituality and many more such things are there which regulates the self and this is me. Me self dictates individuals how to act, how to behave, how to express, how to, how to uh, show the attitude and I self is the actual, uh, actual expression, is the actual expression at the time of the action, at the time of behavior. So here we can take an example. In any in any a group, suppose you are in any of the group of your colleagues in any organization, in any office and in this group, in this group all the colleagues or all the individuals knows each other. All the individuals can take the attitude of others towards him or her. That means one, each and every individual in this group can take the attitude of others towards him. It is common for all. And in this process of taking attitude, if you feels, if you assumes that the attitude of other is not positive towards you, is negative towards you. If you assume that attitude of others is negative towards you, then what would be your reaction? This reaction, this reaction here is determined by I and me. Me which basically regulates the self and regulates the expression of the self. Me which is based on individuals learning, individuals regulated behavior, individuals morality, ethics, uh, rules, regulations. But when it comes to the expression, it actually the I that comes out. Because I is something which is inherent. 
inherent in the sense that individuals personal reactions and regulated reactions comes out individuals cannot be completely mechanized so me actually cannot be fully expressed me just regulates the i and i comes out as a reactions so reactions may be uh, the sadness anxiety anger or uh, or any kinds of other reactions may come out any kind of negative reactions may come out in in response to that neg negative attitude but if opposite situation happens that you while taking the attitude of others towards you you assumes that others reaction is others attitude is positive towards you then you also reacts accordingly i reacts accordingly and i gives the positive reactions in this process an individual may have a neutral expression of the self that is it it may have the combination of both i and me even if someone uh, gives the negative attitude towards you you may not directly expressing your uh, anger your sadness anxiety so this is how the me manages the i in this situation and sometimes the me may not be able to manage the i and i becomes the completely uncontrolled uncertain this is how a person's anger expressed in any of the common situation in any of the social event social function or any kind of public situation where individuals may uh, may express the anger may express the sadness may express the happiness as well so this is the expression of i there is actual expression of the self me regulates me manages me particularly takes into account the social norms values rules regulations religious instructions morality ethics spirituality many things but i which what expresses by the individual so it is very uncertain i is very uncertain it depends on the situation i cannot be calculated i cannot be anticipated that what would be the reaction it is not a repetitive it is not instinctive it is not impulsive that a person behaves in a particular pattern in a particular situation would repeat the same in the uh, same in another situation so it is not necessary that individuals repeat the same kind of behavior in the in, in another situation or in the two different situations so this is how i and me uh, self develops in the individual and the balance between the i and me is the individual's distinctive self identity individual in this case basically understand or individual is able to able to understand his or her self individual can assume about himself or herself from others attitude what others thinks of him or her that individual can assume that individual can understand and accordingly individual behaves in the society individual can takes up the role of other persons to check over him or to examine him so this is the self examination the individual can examine himself or herself from outside individual can take up the role of another person another uh, there is others in the society and can examine himself or herself this is self examination so individual is not unconscious always about him or about her 
So, this is the identity individual is conscious about the identity. Now, here the issue comes the self consciousness and consciousness that I will discuss in the next video. So, main point here is that I and me that develops and that maintains a balance in the individual's expression in the individual's identity formation and that is how human beings lives in the society human beings maintains an existence in the society so this much is the present video i will continue another concept in the next video